Hi everyone, welcome to Prince Academy. I am fine and I am doing very well. And I hope you are also doing very well for your upcoming exams from it now. And this video is mainly meant for first year students and also for research interested students. So, in this video, we are going to deal with the concept of triangulation from the subject of research methodologies and methods. MS402 MSO program IGNO. So, we will start our video with the definition of triangulation and also its uses. And finally, we conclude this topic with the types of triangulation. Let's see, one by one. Triangulation is a technique to analyze the results of the same study using different methods of data collection. Triangulation is actually a technique to collect data using different methods. And this is also used for to enhance validity, uh, to enhance validity, a valid conclusions, right? To create a more in-depth picture of a research problem, a more in-depth picture. To integrate different ways of understanding a research problem because in the triangulation method we use different approaches. So it helps us to integrate different ways of understanding a research problem and also to obtain accuracy in measurements between two points. Understand? Coming to the concept of triangulation, here mathematics helps us. If we if we take three different measures between three points, we can ensure that the measurements of the distance between point A point B is absolutely correct by using the mathematical principle that is that each angle of an equilateral triangle is always 60 degrees right so we just triangulate our measurement by take, taking three different measure, measurements so the theory of triangulation provides us in social research some degree of control over the accuracy of the data that we gather using triangulation methods. In the triangulation method, there are mainly two types, methodological triangulation and theoretical triangulation. We'll discuss one by one. Sorry. Methodological triangulation. We use multiple methods on the research process, right? There are mainly three types. One researcher uses two or more research techniques and the second type Two or more researchers use the same research technique. And the third, third one is two or more researchers use two or more research techniques. The final picture from the methodological triangulation is using multiple methods to collect data and analyze them. Right? Coming to the theoretical triangulation using multiple theories. Very simple. Methodological triangulation discuss about the using multiple methods and theoretical triangulation discuss about using multiple theories to study a social group. Example multiple theories in the perspective of structuralist perspective and interactionist perspective. If a person needs to study about the concept of the family, uh, coming to the structural perspective, he, he needs to study about the outline and the nature of this family. And coming to the interactionist perspective, he needs to inquire the individuals in family or in multiple families or a family group. This is how the triangulation method helps to collect data using different methods, using different approaches and to make a successful research. I hope you are clear in this topic. Thank you.